Skateboarding for Jilly. Another video here. Obviously, I don't even know why I feel like I need to say that every time. But today is suffering, identity, who you are. And this quote is from uh, Naval, the Almanac of Naval, which I've been promoting a lot of videos recently. And again, get that free PDF. Your real resume is just a catalog of all your suffering. If I ask you to describe your real life to yourself and look back from your deathbed at the interesting things you've done, it's all going to be around the sacrifices you made, the hard things you did. And this is on page 89. The Almanac of Naval, A Guide to Wealth and Happiness. Now, okay, so here's my notes. So if who you are is defined by your struggles, because it is, then you could spend more time appreciating the hardships rather than resisting and fighting and suffering. We all fight negative feelings and hard things. Like we want to resist them. We try to fight them. We try to push them back. We try to force them away from us, all right? We get frustrated and complain and bitch and whine and explain away things. We explain away why these things are the way they are and we make up all these justifications and, and ex basically excuses that sound good that are like chocolate covered excuses basically for why things are and it creates suffering and discontent and we actually remove the lessons and the learning that are to be had. We feel that, woe is me, life is unfair, that typical victim narrative. But maybe we should just let things flow, let them come, then learn, grow, appreciate, and realign our focus to gratitude. So Taoism, and something like the Tao Te Ching, you have the duality, everything is a duality. There's also the concept uh, of Wu Wei, which I think is more Chinese philosophy. I, I, I think maybe it's, I don't know. I'm a little fuzzy in the history, but the concept of Wu Wei is, it basically means action through an action, and it's also translated by Alan Watts. He talks about it as not forcing. So not forcing something, kind of just letting things happen as they will. Now, this is a very powerful concept for life. I have I found it in business is extremely powerful. And it reminds me of something I heard about Napoleon. So Napoleon used to get mail, and he would let them sit for like two weeks. He wouldn't open his mail. And finally, I think it was a general or somebody asked him why he does that. He said something to the effect of, sir, it's amazing how many things resolve themselves. Basically, if I just give it enough time and I basically force people to resolve it themselves. I've used this with email. I've used this with employee, with employee problems. I've used this with vendor problems. I've used this with just, just things that I wanted to, like I wanted to force, I wanted to get done now, 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 now. And I wanted to get aggressive on. And now I still do that from time to time. Sometimes it does need that. But only if I've already given it time to try to figure itself out, okay? So this concept, as it applies to our suffering and the hard things on our sacrifices, is we, we try to force too much. We try to force things to fit perfect into our, the box we want to fit in like right now. We try to speed up the process. We try to intervene and persuade people and just do all these things that are are basically contrary to nature and what it does is a couple things it makes us suffer more it actually moves us away from the gratitude and the learning and the growth that we could have if we were embracing what's happening and we usually make things worse we 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 become gasoline that's being thrown on the fire instead of letting the fire burn out right Giving things time usually lets oxygen start from the flame. It lets, it lets the fuel basically burn into coal and then eventually dissipate. So when you're going through something d difficult and hard, you want to give yourself space. You want to give yourself time. You want to take a step out of yourself, take a step back. And you don't want to force things. That's really, I would say, the... The big lesson for today is don't force things, especially when you have like a new, ripe, brand new situation that you're trying to deal with. Just don't force. Give it time. Give it time. Give people time. Let nature and time take do its thing, take its course. And maybe consider small nudges here and there and like consider asking questions and just being kind of like a very outside observer that is very detached and and just not emotional and very objective and you know like if you could be helpful you could be helpful if you if you can't you can't you know and not again just not getting too involved and forcing too much this is such a valuable skill for life i cannot 
fathom, especially when it comes to other people, I cannot fathom the amount of times that I should have used this tactic. <laughs> uh, some of which would have resulted in me not getting arrested after I called the police, but that's a story for another day. But had I given things time, had I given myself time to cool off, to detach, to let the emotions and hormones subside, had I not sent that email today and sent it in a couple days, I probably wouldn't have sent it or I would have at least deleted the few paragraphs that were a little mean. <laughs> I'm sure you have some situations where you wish you would have just taken some time. So when it comes to suffering, don't force. Don't force it to where you want it to go. Take solace in the fact that if you actually give it time and you don't force and you can just kind of manifest in your mind where you want it to go and maybe give some nudges here and there based on that, you'll end up a lot of times it'll go where you want to go or it will just slowly dissipate and not be a, as big of a deal as you thought. That's it for today. A video a day to help you become a better human. That's what I'm here to do. Subscribe. If you want to like or share, I appreciate that. And I'll see you in the next one.